Are you suffering from low back pain with one-sided weakness such as scoliosis, lateral pelvic tilt, quadratus lumbar pain? Hi, my name is Annie and welcome back to my channel and I have all the solutions for you because in this video 4, this is the comprehensive guide to core back protocol. If you missed my first three videos, check out over here on the link down in the description below. Follow along with learning how to do the proper breath work, learning about your, the root of the problem. If you have lateral pelvic tilt, using muscle energy techniques, video 2 is about dead butt syndrome to wake up your gluteal muscles if they've been having difficulty engaging. And video 3 is where I showed you some of my best kept secrets to have a stronger core, improve stamina and endurance. If I make you this promise is that you absolutely cannot afford to miss this. So grab your mat, foam roller, your ball, and elastic band to join me. You know the saying, good things come to those who wait. So it's been more than 20 years of experience where I put them together in this comprehensive guide blueprint about core back protocol. And in this video, I will unveil the precise steps you need to take in order to regain a life without back pain to have a stronger core and improve posture. That's why we're gonna use a foam roller if you don't have a foam roller, you can use a roll towel, a ball. If you don't have a ball, you can just use a chair and a wall. The wall will give you support, especially if you have sciatica symptoms, pain radiating down your leg. As I mentioned in the previous videos, utilizing proper breath work and also how to really engage through the breathing pattern. So you want to make sure you practice that first before really going deep dive deeper because if you don't do that, you're going to have a difficulty engaging your core because your diaphragm and your pelvic floor is so important to be together with the piston motion to help relieve pressure on your low back. The lumbopelvic hip complex or LPHC is a role in fixing the back pain. If you don't know where your core is and you don't know what's the root of the problem, especially with individuals with weak core glutes and core stability, it's important to build stability before we stretch. Because if you just stretch your legs, your upper body without having the stability, then it causes a lot of muscle spasm, tightness, and angrier muscles on your low back. No matter how much you massage that area, if you're unstable and cannot hold your posture, which is the fast twitch muscle, which is the slow twitch muscle fibers that needs to be activated to see amazing tolerance to sit longer. I strongly recommend doing so before proceeding to this one. You want to do the step-by-step -step guide before we do everything. So I'm going to try to combine as much techniques today together with the lateral pelvic tilt I discussed in video one. Video two is how to wake up your glutes. So we're gonna do some techniques. So in my previous videos, I demonstrated my left side is my lower side if my lateral pelvic tilt. So I'm gonna start lifting it up with my proper breath work with isometric hold. And then I'm gonna wake up my glutes. I'm gonna use the ball to improve stability. I'm gonna use the foam roller to improve the posture wellness. And I'm gonna do maybe two exercises each to cover everything on this comprehensive guide because in my eight week course with two week bonus videos of my back master class that will be reopened on September 1st, it's gonna be too hard to share everything the blueprint today because you're all absolute beginners. I don't wanna overwhelm your body. You've been practicing every two days if you've been following along and you wanna make sure you build it slow and steady so that it doesn't overwhelm your spine. So let's begin the program now. We're gonna start realigning your pelvis first. I have some elastic bands. One is banded and one is long. Slowly so roll down. As I said in my first video, to learn more about the alignment of your pelvis, my left side is my weaker side, and the ball is a good way to give support and stability. So if you have the ball on your legs to support your legs, this will help the tabletop position. 90 degrees and my left side I'm going to put resistance lift off the ball and hold it for 10 seconds hold so you take a deep breath through your nose I'm expanding my belly and lateral we reach the side and then push against my thigh and breathe out and relax and then the opposite leg I want to lower this one because my right side is higher my iliac crest I'm going to interlock my fingers and place it behind my thighs and I'm going against my interlock fingers and hold it for 10 seconds hold. And do that 10 times. You want to make sure you know which side is your weaker side. That's why I recommend going back to video 1 to find out there's a proper assessment tool to start. 
So I'm just combining everything as a comprehensive guide today. And then you're gonna make a fist place between your knees and press against your hands. As you breathe in and breathe out. Hold it as well for 10, 10 seconds, hold 10 times. Place your hands outside your thighs. Take a deep breath. Breathe in and breathe out. Press against it. And then I demonstrated some lovely core stability with the ball. As I extend one leg, slow and steady. Just a gentle flossing of your nerves. And you can do as you kick. You dorsiflex before going down. You can interlock your fingers, place it behind your thigh for support, and floss your sciatic nerve. And this is a good way to relieve pressure on your low back. You kick, and then you bend as you point your toes towards you, and you do it both legs. Even though the other leg has no sciatica symptoms, it's important to floss your nerve, the largest nerve of our body. After doing some stability of the ball, lying on your back, my comprehensive guide has a lot of different positions from lying on your side as well with core engagement. If you have weakness on your shoulder, you can place your hand over here and this will help that alignment and do some side leg lift. And with the band around your knees, this will help target your gluteal muscles, especially the medius that will help that tilt on the side of your hip and the ball will give you that beautiful support and my recommendation is do that 10 times and then go all fours position and this will help for those with anterior pelvic tilt posture or flat back and you want to keep your core engaged without straining your back so the ball is a big support for you for your posture muscles on your posterior chain and usually in my back master class inside my course, my program, I do gentle leg extension first and slowly build up the upper body strength and also stabilize your glutes if you have sacral iliac dysfunction and do that 10 times. So this will help, help wake up those dead butt syndrome. And without the ball, I recommend lying on your stomach. As long as there's no pain radiating down your leg, you're fine. On your elbows or all the way down. If there's pain going down, you stop. Slowly build up the stamina on your elbows. And then do a little bit turn, left and right, to stretch your neck all the way down to your lumbar spine. As you turn your head and bend your knees left and right. Exercise ring closed. So breathe in and breathe out it feels so good on your back and bend both knees at the same time this is double knee bends and you can put your head down if you can keep your head up and then to progress you place the elastic band around your ankles and i want to target those hip internal and external rotators so as i push out i'm tar targeting my internal rotators and you're gonna feel a little bit challenged to open those feet apart, keeping your knees together. Well done. After doing those for 10 repetitions, my next progression is grabbing this beautiful foam roller. The so foam roller will help engage your upper back if you have rounded shoulder posture with the elastic band. And we're gonna do some PNF pattern or proprioceptive neuromuscular facilitation to help strengthen your posture in the strongest movement pattern. So the elastic band, level to your shoulders, start with opening your chest first, squeezing your upper back and pulling the hands down to the side and breathe out. Making sure you can tolerate the foam roller behind you. And if it's too challenging, use a roll towel as you separate them out and breathe out. Do the ten reps, and then the P and F patterns diagonals. Ten repetitions. This is one of my favorites for those patients with neck pain, especially scoliosis. Usually, you have tilt up your head in one side and want to realign your body. It feels so good on your neck and upper back. And I have a testimony of my lovely patient, online student who recovered from neck pain and upper back pain from having 
67 degrees scoliosis. Now, elbow in your waist, and then you're going to separate your hands apart and squeeze your core in. Just separate it, elbows on your waist, and do that. 10 repetitions, and you can progress holding for 10 seconds. Hold if you can. Everyone's unique with the progression. And this is one of my comprehensive guides, displacing the foam roller underneath your pelvis to help the tightness of your hip flexors. And these hip flexors usually get tight and deconditioned from prolonged sitting position. Hold on to the foam roller. And if lifting both legs up hurt your low back, my recommendation is just gently march left and right in the tabletop position to open up that hip flexors in an eccentric control because the elevation helps stretch your tightness and also helps support your pelvic floor as well as your hip flexors. After doing a gentle tabletop marching, then you can progress with tabletop with extension, bend and then down, tabletop, extend, bend and down. You want to make sure as you breathe in, zip it up, core engage to tabletop, exhale as you extend, inhale as you bend all the way down to that 10 repetitions each leg as well. I'm trying to cover as much details in our entire blueprint. And after doing that, you can do double tabletop first to tap one foot at a time for an e center control on your hip flexors and you breathe out as you tap. Inhale, exhale, tap. As a gentle progression, we're gonna do straight leg raise with one leg extended. And if this is too difficult to hold your core, place your foot down on the mat and do gentle leg raise. Dorsiflex before going down. Inhale, tippy toes as you lift. Exhale, dorsiflex, which means toes pointing you before going down. And my recommendation to strengthen your hip flexors in an assisted, gravity assisted position is to 10 reps. And after 10 reps, you switch to the other side. Extend the opposite leg as you breathe in, breathe out, lift. And do that 10 repetitions as well. As I said earlier, if you feel like the foam roller is rolling off, you can place your foot down for stability and do that 10 repetitions as well. And those are two techniques inside my back master class. And now we're going to use the wall for those with sciatica symptoms. So I'm going to position it properly so you can see how it works with my wall pilates. Okay, my friends, before lying down near the wall, make sure your buttocks is not too close, especially if you're very tight. So in this position, you might be having pain down your leg, just gently elevate it with your knees slightly bent. And this is one of the best techniques for sciatica is to slide your foot down back and forth to floss gently your sciatic nerve as you breathe in and breathe out and then you can progress by bending your knee for a deeper stretch and if it's causing more pain stop everyone's unique on their healing journey but i guarantee you in two weeks you're gonna feel so much better in my back masterclass program so write your name and email address right, to be part of the early bird wait list for first come first serve basis and this is video four already there's two more videos this week to establish this beautiful core engagement and write down your concerns and problems inside the link down below so i don't know more what i can do to help you fix your back pain for good sign up with your name phone number and also write down your problems so i can fix you forever you know what to do you know you know the root of the problem and then you know how to fix it now glide to the other leg feel so good and then bend your knee if you want so this is one of my favorite ways especially at the end of the day if you've been sitting a lot lie down on your back elevate your feet up and this is the next one you bend both knees back and forth and then you can do a little bit butterfly center. Butterfly is one of the best way to mobilize your hip joints, to lubricate it, and to heal your muscles that's been inflamed or tight and weak. 
and that's it. I try to cover as much as I can in my entire blueprint. And there's so much more like nerve flossing where you floss your nerves from upper body and your lower body. We floss some lower body today, but there's also upper body for neck pain. I'm hoping you enjoyed my video for my entire blueprint of my Path Masterclass where I utilize core back protocol, where I fuse Pilates yoga physical therapy through the years of experience where I help thousands of my patients and online students. If you want to be part of this, write your name and email address. Don't miss out on September 1st, 10 a.m. Sunday. I'll be reopening my class, my program for first come, first serve basis. There's so many of you guys already signed up. I'm so excited to meet each one of you because of my weekly Zoom calls, exclusive for you guys exclusive private Facebook page so we could communicate and reach all your back pain goals. Fix it for good with improved posture and stronger core and regain life without back pain. If you have more time today, watch this video. Make sure you go back to video one. Learn the root of the problem. Find it out. Once you find out, number two, wake up those dead bud syndrome because it's very common for those with angry quadratus numborum, one-sided pain because one of your loose muscles are very weak and usually they're both weak but one sided is weaker see you in my next video training see you in video five always remember be safe be well and healthy you bye